Welcome! In this session, I will show how you connect TradeStation to the Cycles Tools platform. So let's have a look. Okay, so um, we first look into our Cycle Tools platform here. So if you open um, your browser and go to your uh, session, so then first of all, you will see this uh, new screen and you need to select here settings. And within the settings panel, you choose my streams. This is already what I've opened here in this section. So you will see the preview information, but you can skip this. And if you open this for the first time, there will be no active connections. So what we need to do is we need to connect our tool set to these um, connection here. So we need our API key for that. So we move to the API key section and now copy and paste your API key because this is what you need to enter in your trading uh, platform. So once we have done that, we can switch to, uh, for example, on our trade station. So I've now trade station here. So with a simple one minute chart, Bitcoin, US dollar, we which we now want to connect with our um, yeah, Cycles Tools platform. So what we do when you have downloaded and uploaded our um, TradeStation tool set, you will find the trading app Cycle Analysis. So just open the Cycle Analysis application. This will then bring a new window. And in this window, it's important that you put your API key in, which you have copied from the Cycles tool screen here. So I will just copy and paste it here, uh, click save, and now we have at least activated the cycle analysis platform. Now, to bring in the one minute chart, which I've opened here, simply open an indicator on that chart. So you would just um, go to um, and add a new indicator. So insert uh, not a strategy insert analysis technique. So we will then, I think it's the symbol is uh, not shown. So then um, a new screen will show up where you will select the appropriate um, indicator, which is called WTT app data stream. Um, so let me just open it. So this is where you um, see the screen here. So select WTT app data stream as show me indicator. Click OK, and then this indicator will be attached now to the chart. So that's more or less everything you need to do within TradeStation. So just two simple things. Put your API key into the cycle analysis window um, and open the show me WTT app data stream. That's it. So now you're done with uh, TradeStation and you can keep it running, do whatever you want with your chart and other um, indicators. And we now will switch back to on our cycles platform. Um, so now let's get back to the data stream section, my streams. And what you will see here now, we have a running stream live. So this was not shown before and it shows you TS, TradeStation, Bitcoin USD, one minute. So this is the standard setting which, which has been used. Um, and now you can analyze this uh, TradeStation data uh, with our cycle scanner like you do with every other um, charting application. So what you see here now within our platform is the one minute data live from your TradeStation platform. Just activate the live pulse and you will now see that once a new bar has been closed within TradeStation, it will show up live here within this platform. So you can plot your cycles, do your cycle analysis. Um, and now you will see that uh, this is the time we have and we will just wait a minute to see that another bar will come in once the next bar has closed um, after the next minute. So let's just keep an eye here on the browser for a second. And you see here where I'm on the chart here. So it will just take some seconds once the bar has closed within our trade station application and will directly show up here on our chart. So let's watch out until the update arrives. So 
so I will keep it live and just record the session for, for the second uh, that the next bar should rush in. Just waiting. So there you are, the trade station. Live. So you see this has happened really live in trade station. So this is not an error um, on our, our charting platform. This was just a live drop in, in, in the markets here. So let's let's watch now until the next bar has closed in trade station. Um, and then we will, yeah, uh, check live here so that um, we will see the next next update coming here in. And there you are. So the next bar has been pushed here to this to this data set. Yeah, that's how it works. So now you have live data in your cycle toolbox, um, and you can put the put both. Um, yeah, let me just uh, let's get back to the studio. So what you have now, you have both uh, connected directly with these other. So, so your trade station, so you can run one minute, five minute, you can run w w whatever symbol you like or to analyze, and then you have the life cycle analysis, um, more or less in real time, coupled with your trade station application. So use your favorite application, in this case trade station. Do whatever you want to do with your chart and analysis and whatever technique and then you can put on another monitor or another window just open the browser open your cycle scanner put in the stream and then you have both live on your screen the full power of cycle analysis with your trade station platform so i hope you will like it so thanks for watching